Hello and welcome to the App Cookery Club. Today we're going to be making a summer cocktails app for the nice weather that we've been having. Our app's going to have four main features and we're going to start building that now. So click on build your template. Okay, so for this app we're going to have a nice home screen with some nice images of cocktails. We will have a custom list which we'll use to layout our cocktails and the recipes for them. We will have a feedback form so you can send in your cocktail recipes and the last one we have is a social page so you can share on Facebook and Twitter. Okay, So we've added the four features then we're going to use our tab modifier to hide the last feature so we can only have four on the app. So save that that's our features added now we can rename them so we'll change home screen to home custom list that is going to be our cocktails feedback will send we'll change that to send recipe and social is fine so when you rename them just click save and that will be saved there you go now for the design of the app we have a few sample templates here let's try and find something a bit bright for the summer that's too dark how about Satsuma, a nice orange bright color so that's our design done we've chose the colors for the app you can also upload your own custom icons in the design app skin section and change the paint layouts as well we'll come back to this after so that's done now so we'll go into view this is where you get a unique preview code for your app so for this app is WTT12 so what you need to do is go to the app store download app splash is available on google play and itunes we have it here on the left so if i click app splash when it loads up you and simply enter the code in and it will give you a live preview of the app you're creating so let's do that together now WTT12 so this is what we have so far you can see the features we added home cocktails send recipe and social we haven't added any features in yet but when we do we'll come back to the simulator so now we have to add the content to our app so we we'll click on to content so as you can see again we have the features we added here the four features and the last ones are locked so let's start adding some in so for the home screen we're going to simply upload some imagery so we have some nice images saved there so click choose file locate where you've saved the images so I have them into a folder called cocktails and we'll upload this one here click upload and there you go so let's add the last two images in and then we'll see how that looks on the app so peach is up upload yep and the final one swimming pool uploaded great when you finish click update at the bottom now if we reload the simulator we should see the live changes So close down app splash reload it preview app and there you go so those are the images you should see it fades in between each image nicely the three images we've uploaded so that's the second and then the third and it just continues the animation so we've done that now next step is to add to our cocktails list so here we have a custom list so we're going to create the custom list and what this allows you to do is specify fields so for our recipes we have specific fields that we need so I'm going to bring up our recipes list now so this is the list for our recipe so we have an image we can add a title which is the name of the cocktail and a description which we have here so but there's some more fields that we need so for example we have a prep time the number of people that it can serve the ingredients used as well and how to actually prepare it so that's what we're going to add so first we'll add prep time so that's the first field next we'll add a serving so those are the first two done so now we need ingredients field that's done and the last one is just the preparation to explain how to make it so that's done we've added our custom fields so you click create list and then now that creates a custom data list for you which you can add all your information to so 
this suit, as you see, we've created off extra fields there apart from the default name, image, description. So we can start filling it up. So, first, I'm going to upload an image. So, again, choose file. We're going to use the same images from before. So, here's the peach. Save that. Click upload. And we have the image there. Then you can just simply copy and paste the data that you have. So, I'm going to add the name in and then the description. So this is a nice cocktail, so add the description in. So now we need the prep time for this, so the prep time is 3 minutes. So you can type it in, you can copy and paste if you have it already saved. Serving is 1, so I'll just type in 1. Now for the ingredients, copy that, paste that over. Yep. And last is the preparation. Simply copy it over add that in so we've added all the content in for this cocktail add it to the list so then that will add in now so as you can see it's here so if we go back to the simulator reload it and we should see the changes so the same preview code click preview app click on cocktails and there you go it's added in there and if you click it you can see we have the name the image a nice description the ingredients preparation time the actual preparation and how many it serves. So we'll do one more quickly to see how it looks. So add new list item. Again, you simply upload the image. So we'll do swimming pool for this one. Upload. When that's done, so we'll give it the names, which is swimming pool. The description and copy over. That's done. Prep time is five minutes. And serving, we had that as one. So that's done. Last two ingredients. So we just copy all the ingredients over. You can have as much data as you want in these fields. And last is preparation. So there we go. Quite simple for this. Add that in, add it to the list. Okay, go back, quickly refresh to get the updates, and we should now have two cocktails in a list. And of course, you can add as many cocktails as you want, but for the purpose of this demonstration, we're just going to add in two. So if we click onto that, there you have your list. You can also go back and default this into a list view, so you do have that flexibility as well. So we've done the home screen and the cocktail. So third is the feedback form. So this is just a simple form. So we're going to use the feedback feature as a send recipe feature so we'll change some of the text so we can say have a new cocktail recipe why not send it in and if we like it we will feature it on the app you can change the button text so we will change that to just send and then here you simply add an email to which you want all the recipes to be sent. So we can send it to recipes at appsplash.com. Click update. So now if we reload the app, we can see the changes made to the feedback or to our send recipes tab. Click send recipe. And there you go. Have a new cocktail recipe. Why not send it in? If we like it, we will feature it on the app. And you simply tap your recipe and add your email address and press send and all that data will be sent to the email address you added in here so that's that um, last but not least is the social page again simply you can go in here and plug in any URLs you want so we'll just use our app splash twitter page for now twitter.com forward slash app splash click update if you wanted to add more in you simply just add them into the box. You can do other social networks like um, Instagram and any other ones you have, but these are just simple showing you that you can have Facebook and Twitter, but you can use any other social network you want. So if we reload the app, I'll show you how we load the Twitter client natively inside the app. It doesn't take you out of the app. It just knows loads of the page natively. As you can see, you have full functionality. You can follow, retweet, sign in, sign up, see followers, so yeah, very nice feature there. So you can link this through to your own personal Twitter page or for the company. Maybe there'll be updates of the app on there.
so it's a very nice feature there for you so that's the main main brunt of it done so we can see here we have our cocktail so earlier I spoke about changing the design so this is a pretty simple layout it lists out the title and then the descriptions below it but you can actually have full customization of this page if you have in-house CSS or HTML knowledge to accomplish that you go into design and then there will be a section design called design page layouts and then simply you choose a data list page so then in here we do have some sample templates so this template has a little image so you can see on the left we have our standard template and on the right is a custom template so it has the image at the top a nice mask with the title and then some more information and again if I click the other template you will see the reload and now that one looks different it has the title slightly higher on a mask and then information below it so this just shows you that you can have full customization of the page you can add links to get more information or to videos of how to actually create them so you have full flexibility for this page so that's the this layout and that's our app done we've added the features sorted out the design chose our colors we've added into con the content and of course as I said you can add as many cocktails as you want there's no limit to the list so if you had a hundred cocktails you could add them all into here we've added our home page we have a nice feedback form so people can send in their recipes and then a social page so you can access our Twitter feed so once you've done all of that and you're happy with the app the last step to do is go into publish so the last thing to do now is to send the app through to publish so this is our final publishing page simply sign, the e sign it off with your email add the description which goes to the app store so that's sort of just some relevant information for the app so for this app it will be you can say summer cocktails app hundreds of your favorite cocktail recipes you add some app keywords so that's used for a search so for example for this app keywords would be cocktail summer maybe certain types of alcohol like rum anything like that so just 10 relevant keywords that people will use to search for your app in the app store you choose the category so we have a list of categories so this could be food or drink education lifestyle choose the relevant categories for your app give it a title so for this app it will just be called summer cocktails and again below you have your app icon so the first app icon is the actual icon the home screen of your phone so that could be your logo or anything relevant to the app and secondly the app icon which is slightly bigger which will go into the app store itself so they can be the same or they can be different but again feel free to use any logo or anything relevant to the app so people know what they're looking for and then you simply just tick personal plan and then click agree and publish your app and when that's done it sends it goes through to our QA team we'll check it out and make sure all the content's fine all the features are working correctly then we send it off to Apple and they will Apple and Google sorry and they review it and then the whole process normally takes up to two weeks which is a really quick turnaround so once the review process has been finished you have your very own free personal app so that's it for the tutorial today I hope it helps you out please feel free to log in on appsplash.com and try and create your own free personal apps have a nice summer and hopefully you enjoy some cocktails thanks